Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Car Fix. I'd like to welcome you guys to my channel. So today I'm over here at my truck and my uh, uh, 96 GMC Sierra K3500. It's a 6.5 diesel. Um, maybe this is a question that you guys have. It's about a, a, a turbo right there by the wastegate. Um, so let's get under the hood and then I'll show you what I mean. All right, guys, this is a little windy here, but bear with me. So what's going on with my 6.5 diesel is that the, the, the vacuum pump down here, it's not working well. It's not working properly because I test it. The way that you test it, you get a, um, a vacuum, um, a vacuum uh, little gauge. And then what happened is you, you pull these two hoses over here that when it comes the from the pump which is the orange one and then the black one goes to the actuator so what happened is that the actuator it's not working because there is no suction from the pump going um coming from over here so what what i did was i have as you can see here i have my tep line and i have a um a psi reading for the manifold pressure um inside the cab so i know exactly the pressure that's going in here that's going inside the engine so what i did was because this is not working and you guys have like probably like a million way that you guys can see how this is done some people cut this open and play and finagle with this and to adjust um how much pressure you put on that little lever here um how much pressure you put on that little lever so um what i did was i just went to the auto parts store and i picked up this this little spring here and what it does this spring holds that lever up um and by driving i see that it holds up to about like five five psi which is not too bad for this truck because if you understand about it you have to have if you understand about engines you have to have a perfect mixture of air and fuel um and my lift pump is not doing very well either so i don't want to add too much pressure too much turbo pressure to the engine now somebody over there in the comments can maybe correct me if i'm wrong but a little bit that i know about engines i don't know i'm not an expert i'm just showing you guys what i did so uh this is what i did um like i said there's a million ways of doing it um but i got like a solid 5 psi which is not that bad for this engine so thanks guys for tuning in to my channel um you know i appreciate it if you guys subscribe uh you know i'm learning as i as i go with this truck um i'm not an expert um but you know this right here this little add-on that i did with the spring here it's it's safe um like i said i have the reading inside of the truck that says how many psi it's exactly going to my engine I don't want to push 10 pounds of PSI on this engine because I don't have, I need to change my lift pump. I need to go to, to like a marine place over here and get another pump or a better pump online. Um, but um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and, uh, and um, thank you for sharing uh, this video. Um, I'm sorry for, about my accent. I'm Brazilian, so it's kind of hard for me to, um, to say the correct words of... Uh, the way you say you know anyways um you guys have a great day and i'll be posting more videos as i go with this truck um i did a couple of things already with it um and you guys have a great day all right thanks bye